Welcome to the Underwater World Shaders Tutorial by Peerplay. In this tutorial series I will teach you how to create this entire scene through writing shaders and c -sharp code. Almost everything in this scene is based on generated Perlin or simplex noise. You will learn to apply noise in three different ways. First of all, we will create a ground, based on a surface tessellation shader with noise applied to the vertex offsets. The second shader will be a post-processing image effect, applied to the camera, offsetting the pixels with directional noise, taking the camera depth buffer into account. And finally we will create a three-dimensional noise flow field in which we'll spawn fishes that have another little shader applied that we will create. In this introduction I will show you some of the possibilities and powers of these shaders and systems. Let's start by having a look at just the ground. If you're thinking that this is a terrain with a height map, you couldn't be further from the truth. This is in fact a plane. The plane is highly tessellated though. Three-dimensional simplex noise is calculated in the shader and applied to the y-axis of the vertex. The normals are recalculated as well. I will explain this process in the upcoming tutorial parts. As we have calculated the noise, we can change the frequency of the noise in real time. Pretty cool, right? Now another very cool thing to do is offset the y-axis by a certain speed in the 3D simplex noise calculation. While this brings many possibilities to create some very weird stuff, let's reset the terrain to a still ground with some hills. Now let's have a look at the post-processing shader. This shader applies the same calculation of simplex noise as applied to the ground. The difference is that to create the image effect, I converted the noise values to direction vectors instead of height. The post-processing shader is customizable to whichever effect you're looking for. Let's increase the offset to see the noise applied more clearly. Here you can see a few effects with different settings applied. Last but not least, we will create a 3D noise flow field in c -sharp. This will be a 3D box in which we will spawn little fishies, for which we'll make a little shader offsetting the fish vertices by a sinus wave. The fishes will all have their own velocity and magnitude, creating our own little particle system. Of course we can then apply different behaviors to the noise flow field. Let's change the noise to a lower frequency. You can now see that the fishes are moving in a different way. When the fishes reach the edge of the imaginary box, they will appear on the other side. I am very excited about this new tutorial series and I hope you are as well. This tutorial series is made possible by the amazing patrons at my Patreon. If you would like to support me creating free Unity tutorials about audiovisuals, algorithms and shaders, you can become a patron as well. You will then get access to all exclusive source file content of the tutorials. Go to patreon.com slash peerplay for more information. Special thanks to Devin the Dude and Derek Vechter. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you would like to stay updated to new release tutorials, subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Hope to see you again in the next part. Happy coding!